Welcome back to Norath. Today we're going to do some work on the cathedral courtyard here and we're going to put in the city walls of Freeport. Or at least we're going to make a good start on doing those. And in between episodes I have done a little work on the courtyard pavement here. This is the design I've chosen for the courtyard. It's a Celtic knotwork pattern. It's currently outlined in black and blue, but I think I might want to change it to bedrock and something else. And possibly add in a third color to fill in the knots in the middle here. I've also added in a fountain I built previously. It's the right size and scale for this courtyard, I think. But before we get started on the city walls, we need to set a few benchmarks, I think. And these benchmarks are going to be things that I want to have ready for the next map download, which may be a little while. And the things I want to have done for that are to have 50% of the city of Freeport finished, to have the dungeon of Befallen in the Common Lands finished, to have all the wizard spires, pyramids, the druid rings, and the dragon rings finished, integrated, and working. So in the next version, you will be able to get around much easier. After you find one, you can, you can link to all the others instead of trying to take a boat across the ocean. I also want to get out in the common lands a little bit more and build at least a little bit of the farmland and the houses. I want to have at least two or three farmland fields finished out here outside the city walls so it doesn't look just like uh, plain grassland. And I'm going to leave one other sign blank in case I come up with something along the way. But this is all I can think of for now. So whenever these things are done is when the next version of the map will come out. And I wanted to get this all written down and out there so you would know what the next versions of the map are going to contain and what the upcoming episodes will probably contain as well. But with that said, today we need to start putting in the walls of Freeport. And we're going to, of course, begin with the city gates. And I have already drawn a center line from the cathedral through the courtyard to where the gate is going to be. And it, it conveniently, well, almost conveniently lines up with the road that comes in from the common lands. And I might need to get rid of that tree. It's just a little bit too big to have here. We might need to thin that out a little. But with that said, it is now time to hop into MC Edit and get started. So let's line up the gate here on the center line. Bring it forward to about where I want it to be. I think somewhere around here. And, hmm. And we have a problem. These trees are going to clip into the gate itself. I thought this tree was going to be a problem, and it is. So we need to chop a couple of these down. All right, I think that's good enough. I will clear out the rest by hand. And for this, I'll go ahead and say MC Edit has a thing over here that you can do. It will either copy the air or make it transparent. So if you uncheck this box, it will collide all what you're pasting in with the trees and everything. And we want to do this so all the grass down here will merge nicely with the walls and we won't have to do any work on it because it's going to be easier to knock out these couple of trees and bushes by hand here than replace all this grass. And later I think I will also extend probably this road over here to meet the staircase that comes off of the gates house here. So let's paste it in. And when it loads in, the, the lighting is not done on these blocks yet. That's why they look darker than they actually are. These, this doesn't actually update until you save the map. Which I generally make a lot of edits before I save things. So I'll just go ahead and show you what that looks like. There we go. Now that it's saved things, it slowly goes through and updates all the lighting to be proper. And it'll eventually get around to these. It's just kind of slow. But we don't have to sit here and wait for that. We can go ahead and put in the other half of the gatehouse. And I will demonstrate the use of this mirror button here. So keep your eye on that. It's a copy of what we just put over here. 
but when we click mirror it's now a copy of what we want on the other side which if you design your things to be symmetrical you can get a lot of use out of this mirror button it's highly invaluable and I end up using it a great deal so we will bring that in and this will be the other side of the gatehouse of Freeport this is the main gate into North Freeport and we'll view it here from the courtyard and we'll have a nice processional way that will lead I think from the gate to the main courtyard just a little wide thoroughfare I think and we will rough that out in an obsidian pavement I'll probably change it to something else I think uh, off camera I'm going to go through I need to think about what I want to do to this courtyard so I don't think I want it to be like this I think we're going to change up the different colors and materials of it definitely bedrock probably something else maybe some granite or diorite I'm going to have to think about it and see what's going to look good but in designing the city we have to have a road that goes off to West Freeport over here and we want to take a center line off of the pavement and have it go in this direction and it's going to meet a wall over here to separate North and West Freeport and there's going to be another smaller gatehouse over here as this road indicates and we're gonna have a road that goes over there and it's going to meet up in an intersection down here and I'm not sure where it's going to go from there we're going to have more roads than this we're going to have a uh, nice little road network that goes through Freeport with plenty of uh, narrow medieval back alleys and things and dangerous locations with bandits and taverns and all sorts of good things but for the moment we are just outlining the overall sections of how the city of Freeport is going to be laid out. And I think we also want to have another road that will go north off of this one to mirror that one over there and probably turn and go that way and it's going to have several smaller roads over here and we're going to have a small road that is by the side of the cathedral here and probably an entrance here and around here these sections are going to be free of roads which means that we can put buildings there and we're going to have trading halls and uh, all sorts of things where you will want to get your adventuring supplies you can get your food and your bandages and everything and we're going to have to build a, a bank building and all sorts of good stuff around here and I also want to show you a resource that I've used when I was constructing this city this website up here I found it has maps it's sort of a map collective of all the places we want to build and it has all the continents uh, we want plus the, some planes over here it has all of Velius, Cunarch, Otis, Fedor and Antonic of course and I have already brought us to the Freeport page and these are various maps people made over the years in game of what was in Freeport and it gives us a handy list here of the things that we want to build so if you want to you can pause or you can just go to this website and have a look at it yourself of all the things we're going to want to put into Freeport and uh, we'll probably only get half of these in there before the first map update comes out but we've already cited the cathedral which is number 18 it was the temple of Mar it's the cleric and paladin guild and it was located right here and I think there are some 3D models of this if we go further down. Here's a good model. I think I think this is number 30 on this map is where the cathedral was there. And you can see the divisions between uh, North, West, and South Freeport. It's going to be laid out differently in the city I'm building, but we're going to have all the locations there. 
And going down even further, you will notice there are some underground tunnels in Freeport. And we're going to build those as well. I don't think we're going to get to them before the first map update, but we'll see what we can do. And there's a couple of more maps of Freeport down here. And you can go to this site and scroll through them and look at all the other zones if you're so interested in doing so. And I quite like this one down here. It's a sort of 3D relief. It's got the, the walls and everything down here. But that's enough looking at maps. Let's get back to putting in the walls. So now that we've done the gatehouse, the next thing we're going to need are towers. And we're obviously going to need some corner towers here, which I just happen to have on hand. It's like one of those TV shows. And I prepared this earlier so we can all save time and look at it now. And let's nudge it into location with the nudge button here. Uh, for these you don't see, you see what my mouse is doing on the screen, but I also use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move these things around. So we have a pattern in these walls and we need to keep that pattern. And we're going to nudge it over here and it's going to be around here somewhere. And it looks like we might have another tree in the way. Just one though. I'll get rid of it later. But we are, hmm, let's see. Let's take a look at this. Is there room for another tower in here? N no. No, that's going to be too many towers, just too close together. We want to space them out a bit more than that, but I also want this to be a little closer to look the best. But we do need a few more individual wall segments in between this. So we will bring in a new wall segment, gently nudge it into location, and I believe we're going to need more than one of these, so I will go ahead and do that, and then we will get ready to bring in the corner tower. Alright, here's our corner tower. We're now ready to bring it in. We will nudge it into location so the pattern will be consistent in the walls and it won't get broken up. And that looks like it's going to be pretty good. That will give us one, two, three, four, five wall segments between that and the tower. There's going to be at least that many over here. I think there's actually going to be another tower be we put in before we put in a smaller gatehouse over here. So we get that copied in, and now we have the walls of Freeport starting to expand. And I think I might want to make these corner towers just a little bit shorter. I think it would be a better contrast with the gatehouse if I lowered this down about maybe that much from side to side. But that's a change I will make later. Let's go ahead and get started with the other side of the walls. So I brought in a few more wall segments, and next we are going to want probably another tower. Now for this side gate over here, I think we're going to want a larger corner tower and not one of the smaller ones. Okay, I've done some work and I have found the droid that we were looking for. And we now have a gatehouse complete with a corner wall attached to it which we are going to clip into the side of the rolling hills here and it will meet up with the road there but between here and there there's another gap between the walls and this gap I think is too large 
to not have another one of these little towers here. So we are going to put one of those in. And now with the spacing correct, we can bring back in the gatehouse. Adjust it to the proper location here. And this is going to be the gate leading into West Report. But before we do that, let's look over here to see if this is going to be the appropriate place. I suppose we could cram it a little bit. No, well, if I crammed it another section this way, which is about that much. Let's see. That starts posing a security problem. For people that crawl up on this mountain, they could shoot arrows into the walls. That wouldn't be good, so I think we're going to have to cut it off there. For defensive reasons, of course. And it will be much harder to do over here. And it's okay that the wall clips into the mountain, that's fine. No one's really going to be around there to see it, so... As long as it looks good from the front, right? So we have the gate of West Freeport pasted in. And I believe over here we're going to have a small problem. Which is the hills. I haven't moved them quite far over enough when I was making the World Painter file. But that is not a problem. Because I'll show you what we're going to do. Because we have infinite copies of this gatehouse here. What we're going to do... is, oops, what we're going to do is chop out a piece of it where all this ugly brush terrain is that we don't want inside the city. Get a fresh copy of the gatehouse that doesn't have a chunk missing out of it. And slide it into position. Make sure it is correct. and just paste it back in. And now that it's loaded in, we will see all this mess over here that we had previously is conveniently gone. And we're never going to see it again. However, there is a, a bit of mess on the floor here, so we will just take a copy of the pavement over here, lower it down to the correct level, and just slide it underneath the wall. And there we go, and it's gone. And let's uh, save what we have now and take a look at it from a distance. So there we have the front-facing walls. We got the gate of North Freeport up here, the gate of West Freeport down here. And we're going to link that up with a road, probably between episodes. I'll work on these roads. And since moving the walls around and everything in MC Edit from here on out is fairly repetitive, I will spare you from having to sit through that. So let's hop back into the game itself and see what we have done today. We have gotten a quite a lot done on the walls here. And we'll head from the courtyard this way to the main gates. And let's make sure that they work. They should work. But I want to make sure. And we have, of course, our paladin statues on either side of the gates or warriors or whatever. They're definitely not shadow knights. Um... But they are guarding the gates of Freeport from intruders. And everything works good. So we're out here in the common lands. Let's take a look at what the gates are going to look like from this side. Fairly symmetrical. We can see our cathedral just poking above the walls there in the distance. And I think for Freeport, I'm not going to put roofs on top of these towers. We're going to leave them plain. But to separate Freeport from Koinos, since both of these cities are going to have the same walls pretty much, I'm going to put roofs on that city. But that's, that's way the heck over there, and we're not going to get to Koinos for quite a while.
And I think for next time we will start off and I will go ahead and extend the walls around the landward edges all the way over here to the coast and probably over to the desert of Roe on the coast over there. And I think we will lay out some of the main roads and lay out plots for the shops and probably I think we will go ahead and mark some signs next time for where some of the shops are going to be. But that's all the time we have for today. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Join me next time and we will continue building Freeport.